Whenever we talk about Agile and Agility, we're talking about behaviors, tools, frameworks, and the like. But is this really Agility? Or is there some notion of Agility that evades us, kind of like an idea that we cease to comprehend there? In this video, I'm going to try a different approach to defining Agility. I'm going to say what Agility isn't. Hi, my name is Georg and this is my channel Entanglement, through which I want to connect you and your team to the world around it. In today's video, we're going to talk about Agile, actually what isn't Agile. Let's start with point one, Agile frameworks. Um, out of the top of my head, I can recall various Agile frameworks like XP, so Extreme Programming, Scrum, Less, Safe, Scrum Nexus, Spotify model, and the like, there are many of them that are actually meant to help your team to adhere to the principles that are defined in the Agile Manifesto, but they are no precondition to working in an Agile manner. Take for instance Scrum. All too often I have seen project managers being rebranded as uh, Scrum Masters and uh, in consequence, in, in the Scrum team, they mainly took over an administrative role, which meant that they uh, started doing release plannings and sprint, uh, sprint plannings, which obviously is something that the entire team should do and not only the Scrum masters. So one really needs to say that Agile frameworks are helping your team to adhere to the principles of the Agile manifesto, but you don't need to employ an Agile framework in order to be Agile. Number two, tooling. So please don't be mistaken and think that using Agile tools, collaboration tools such as Monday, Jira, Asana, um, Azure DevOps and the like helps your team to become Agile because if you, uh, let's say, fill old fashioned requirements into uh, cards that you shove around between swim, swim lanes, it's not going to help your team to become Agile. You should rather focus on the things that business want and make the information flow easily to, to your development team and the feedback from your development team easily back to your business. This is what it's really about and you can basically do that in any tool that you wish to use. Me for instance, I'm using Excel nowadays in my Agile projects, um, burn me at the stake for that. Number three, user stories. No one actually said that writing a user story is going to make you agile. They of course might help you to keep your stakeholders and the business value that you want to deliver to them in mind, but it's not necessary for you to write user stories in order to be agile. If your stakeholders, for instance, can convey uh, what they want to your team by just making a drawing with lipstick on a piece of toilet paper, that's just perfectly fine. Number four, meetings. So there are many meetings in Agile, like uh, plannings, refinements, daily stand-ups, retrospectives, and all of them sound very swanky. But actually, it's not about the meeting, but rather what you're trying to achieve with it. You should rather ask yourself, what is the purpose of the meeting? Am I trying to increase transparency by uh, refining product backlog items, by pre-planning a few of the sprints that I try to have in the future? Do we need a quick exchange on a daily basis about uh, what we did, what we are about to do and where we need help? So it's rather agile to ask yourself those questions and then to schedule meetings accordingly. And please keep one thing in mind there just because you've set the time box of one hour for a meeting doesn't mean that you need to use it. Each and every minute that you invest into a topic and uh, where you're not achieving the ultimate value from it could be invested better into another activity. Number five, I nearly forgot that while preparing that, uh, that video, but uh, of course also the roles themselves like product owner, scrum master, or um, take release train engineer. They're not agile by themselves. Those roles are actually a collection of tasks, authorities and responsibilities 
that certain team members have in order to aid your team in self-organization. And this is how exactly how you should look at them. Having those roles by themselves in your team does not make it agile. Using agile frameworks, using collaboration tools, writing user stories and having specific meetings with various roles in them does not automatically make your team agile. Rather, you should on a day by day basis try to um, apply the principles of the Agile Manifesto and should try to learn from how you apply to them and what the result of that is. It is really hard work, trust me. Thanks a lot for watching this video. I hope that you liked it and uh, please feel free to subscribe to my channel in case you're interested in some more topics around Agile transformation and digital transformation.